Hey everybody, I just wanted to talk about the characters that I want from Marvel vs. Capcom 4 or whatever they will call the next Marvel vs. Capcom game. I wanted to do 10 Marvel characters and 10 Capcom characters. So first off, let's do Capcom. I wanted to bring back Retsu from Street Fighter 1. So apparently he's come back already in Street Fighter 6, but I'm not sure if he's playable or not yet. So it would be a great addition and kind of a long overdue thing that he would come back. So the next one I would do is Geki from, again, the first Street Fighter game. He would probably play similarly to Vega and Ibuki and just be kind of a really fast character. Number three would be Asura from Asura's Wrath. This was a Capcom game. The main character looks kind of a lot like Akuma. I think that they could do something interesting with this character and maybe his move set would be even more outlandish than Akuma. I just think that he would be a great addition to the game. Moving on from that, my number four pick is Edward Falcon from Power Stone. Everybody that had a Dreamcast back in the day, probably aware of Power Stone. There was even a sequel, Power Stone 2. Edward Falcon is kind of the main guy. He's the guy in the red suit and he's on the cover. And it was kind of a little bit like Smash Brothers before there was even Smash Brothers, I think. It was kind of a all-out brawl kind of game. And they've never, Capcom has never really gone back to these characters, so as far as I know anyway. So I would personally love it if they brought these characters back. Number five on my list would be Skullomania. So this character is from Street Fighter EX, and this sort of skull design and skeleton design just always kind of caught my eye. It was simple and a little bit scary, but not too much. And he just he's just always been kind of a fun character to me, so I kind of would like him brought back in as many games as possible. My sixth pick from Capcom would be Wayne Holden from Lost Planet. So I played Lost Planet, especially the first one on Xbox 360 back when it came out. I was living in Japan at the time and it felt like no one even knew about this game even though it was made by Capcom, a Japanese company. And I just loved that kind of frozen Hoth planet and the mechs and everything. So I suppose this character could have maybe even bring in a mech of some sort. Number seven for Capcom for me would be Claire from Star Gladiator. This game and its sequel, Plasma Sword, were just, they were 3D fighting games kind of left in the late 90s, early 2000s. They did bring back Hayate for one of the Marvel vs. Capcom games, which is great. I'd say that they could dip into this property even more. I would even like a sequel someday. I think this is kind of one of the hidden gems from that time. Number eight for Capcom for me would be Grandmaster Mayo from Strider. They've had Strider before and he's great. and I would consider him kind of a no-brainer to bring back. So that's why I'm not even listing him on my list. He's already a given, but I would bring in more characters from that world and just to have another kind of mysterious character with robes and kind of evil, I just think that that would be, again, dipping really deep into their back catalog of characters and could be a lot of fun. So number nine would be Ryu from Breath of Fire. No, it's not that Ryu from Street Fighter, of course. Breath of Fire had their own Ryu. It was a Capcom RPG series, very beloved. Maybe even they could do the two variations of the main character because the box art on the American release versus the Japanese release were pretty different. I usually like the Japanese art more, but I do like that American art that we got. He looks a little bit more badass, and maybe they could have fun with it and have both versions as just variant costumes. The last one, number 10 for Capcom for me, would be Diana17 from Tech Romancer. I love almost any kind of mech game, and I love mech characters. Tech Romancer was already the spiritual successor to Cyberbots, and, and Jin comes from that, so there's already connection there. It also would add a little bit more of a girl flavor to it. You know, just another girl character would be great, and just a robot 
that has <laughs> a lot of hearts. I don't know, I just think it could be good. It could be really fun. Okay, so going into Marvel now, I have 10 characters and the first one up. I'm kind of pissed that they've never really added him to it. I'm talking about Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler is probably my favorite X-Men character. He's just really cool looking and they could even add the sword and some of his different looks. He has a beard sometimes. They could really have a lot of fun with his variations. I really think, this is why I list him first, I think Nightcrawler is really long overdue to be in a game like this. He's one of the most popular X-Men, and I think that he deserves to be in a game. Honestly, out of all the characters on my list, I think, I think Nightcrawler should definitely be in the next one for sure. Probably have a sword as well. My number two pick is a character that's pretty much a hidden gem as far as I can tell, and that's Kristar. So Kristar is like crystal warrior character in the Marvel Universe. They don't do too much with him recently as far as I know, but I just think he has a cool look and he could probably play kind of similar to the way Iceman used to play, but I would add more than two moves to his move list. You remember that? Iceman had like literally two moves in one of the games. Okay, this third pick is from Mike, my co-host, which I didn't think about, and I wonder if they can get the rights, but Marvel did have a Conan run. So if they had some agreement there, maybe they could put Conan into a game, the Marvel version of Conan. They've made games with this kind of character before, like Red Earth, so I think that there aren't a lot of these kind of barbarian characters in Marvel vs. Capcom, so I think this would be a good addition and be pretty different. And maybe it's cheating, maybe it's not quite just a Marvel character, but I think it is interesting and it would be a different type of gameplay, and Marvel does have that connection. Okay, so my fourth character would be Sleepwalker, Stefan from the Saint podcast actually gave me this idea. He had about 30 issues back in the day and Marvel hasn't done a whole lot with him lately. He would be a good hidden gem character. They could do a lot with his warp gaze power and he would be kind of a horror character. And he has a really cool look. Again, robes, hoods, anything like that usually works for me. And a little bit of a horror vibe I think is is great. Okay, so my next character I'd want from Marvel is Nimrod. He was in the X-Men cartoon back in the day. And I suppose he would just play similar to how Sentinel played in the old games. And it's just always fun to have those really big characters. And he would just be a little bit more, a lot more futuristic than the other ones. So I think that it would be a lot of fun. The next one I think is the newest one on my list. And that is a character made by Marvel or comics writer, Donny Cates. Eddie Brock's Venom's villain in a run recently is called Null. And he's kind of the leader of the symbiotes. I would make Noel probably the villain of the entire game's story. I think he would be great, and more on that later, actually, but he's just really frightening and a cool new character. He would have power similar to Venom, but a little bit different. He's just a really cool character. The next one I think would be a pretty cool pick. It would be Mojo from the X-Men. He's kind of a bigger character, kind of a bigger guy, and that would be different than a lot of the other characters, and it would be humorous as well. If you remember the X-Men animated cartoon in the 90s, that was a pretty humorous portrayal, and if they could just base it off that, that would be cool, I think. Number eight on my list would be Spider-Gwen. This is sort of a no-brainer because of the Spider-Verse movies. And actually, since we're talking about it already, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, also that would be my number nine pick. Spider-Gwen and Miles Morales have obviously become very popular in the past few years due to the Spider-Verse movies. I think it's basically a no-brainer that they add these two. And my number 10 pick would be Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. These would come as a pair, obviously. Moon Girl sort of rides Devil Dinosaur and their friends, their buds. They've done dinosaur characters like this before. It would just be cool to have Moon Girl in there and they would just be pretty different from everybody else in the game. So I think that they would be a really good addition. So that's pretty much it. I hope you've liked my picks. And the last thing that I was talking about earlier was that I think that the overall story for the fourth one, the most badass story is that they could do 
Venomverse. There's already Venom and Null and Spider-Man, Miles Morales and Spider-Gwen, all of these Spider-Man characters. The Into the Spider-Verse movies are extremely popular as well. And also getting Venom symbiote variants of characters like Ryu or Skullomania or Nightcrawler or anybody else in the game would be a lot of fun. I'm sure there could be other great ideas for a story for this game, but I do think for my money, Venomverse would be the best. Thanks for watching. This has been Gaming Gaiden.